tired? It's like 4.30. Yes, I'm tired. What? I mean, no, I'm not tired at all. That's what I thought. I'm working on the adventure log system, which is a way for uh, the engine to display useful information to the player without being the the text box for conversations. Um, actually, I'll show you. Let me execute my build. Hold on, let me make sure it compiles. I gotta watch it crash. Let's see. Oh, should be good. Wouldn't want to get an error on camera. Okay. Oh, snap. It's not going to show half that much right now. I'm going to have it capped to maybe this big so it isn't all up in your grill while you're playing. But it's all it, that crap. right now it's just uh, debug. I'm wrapping back so you can see it's loading uh, xbox.png, loading item description, item set loaded, class is loaded, initializing the engine. But it's going to show things like, let's say you get an item, it'll be like you've obtained this, or you get money, you know, you get $400, or... If you get damaged, you take this much damage. It'll also be like uh, the combat log. Uh, let's say you level up. It'll just, it just displays useful text in game. But right now, the uh, debug singleton that I was talking about in uh, a video a long time ago that we used for debug output, I just wrapped it back to this box. So you can, when you print something from Lua, for example, let me see if I use this heart. Actually, I think Peter messed that up. Probably, but whatever. See, executing star.lua. There's a Lua error trying to add an invalid item because Peter fucked it up. And then adding item number four at this location. Word wrap isn't working right now, so I can go here. And I got the item that it added. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on that. Wow, that's pretty tight. And uh, there's the mini map that I was working on, too. That's sweet. Which is so what, it got, shows solids. Yeah, it just it's uh, draws pixels for the uh, collision layer. That's cool. That's pretty much how it works. Yup. Sweet. So Peter, how's it going? Well, I've got all my PMS issues worked out now. Oh really? Your vagina no longer bleeds. Yep. All right, what are we looking at? Now this is the a star here. Well, it affects your HP and is the same drunk script from last time. And as you can see, the adventure log, you were drunk. You are drunk, indeed. And with the heart here, it says HP down. You see the HP. My uh, beautiful HP bars. Check it out, check it out. We'll watch Very it. Oh, nice. oh, oh. It gets out of your way. And you are no longer drunk, according to the adventure log. And, and as the you adventure can see, log doesn't He's lie. no longer drunk. Nice. And here's a new addition bleeding. As he walks across these hurting tiles. Hurting tiles, that's cool. And when your HP is below 10, he's constantly bleeding. Well, and that's a bit of blood. Woo! Here's the What's healing tile on? we've made. So that's healing you? Yep. And as you can see, it's still going, even though his HP is maxed out. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> he and needed a get max HP here's function Here's the fountain for that. again. I believe we showed that in the last one. I don't think. Peter likes to screw around with the particles right now. So that's what he's doing. Ice skating. Yeah, here's his ice skating, and there's Why is this no longer salt? A giant uh, hole in the middle. <laughs> so when are you gonna make it where you can actually do stuff in here, like score? Whenever you actually give me some things for items. Oh, my bad. Keep up the good work. Falco's gonna be uh, explaining Marauder's text box system that he worked his ass off to implement, act as though he did it or some crap. Peter, so, you paying attention? No. My benefit, son. I'm so tired. All right, you ready? Sure, tired. All right. First of all, pull up your drawers, son. I'm too tired to pull up my drawers. All right. Clear. So, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, my original text system was... Crap. No, it was a piece of shit. <laughs> and the code was written so horribly that it kind Marata of... barfed? Yeah, exactly. So I asked him to rewrite it, and he did, and it was very nice. But now we need more than what we had. See, what it did is it would... It was split into screens. You know, you can fit three lines per screen. 
and it could have as many screens as you want. But it was linear, you know? It's like, it says this, screen one, it goes screen two, it goes screen three, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now we need conversations where, like, let's say someone asks you a question. You respond one way, like, yes, it needs, the conversation has to lead here. Or you respond with a no, the conversation has to lead here, you know so what I'm saying? Is that like a linklets versus a tree? No. Well, I mean, I guess metaphorically speaking, but... But are they not actually... Is that not actually a linked list internally? Hell okay. no. That's just... What was it? That's just a... Uh, actually, that's a vector, I think. But that's that's irrelevant. So What's all this crap? This is how it works. You can embed it, a conversation in whatever. Right now, they are in... Uh, they're embedded in... Uh, what? Items and object descriptions. Yeah. And NPC... Yeah. NPC, of course, their conversations, like, talking to them and shit, but, okay, so four is the number of screens there are total, so you've got, these are labels for the screens, you've got start, two, answer one, answer two, so that's four screens total, so it'll start with the first one, which is start, it'll say, hello friend, welcome to my beautiful level, and then since it doesn't say to go explicitly to any other label, it'll go with the next one, which is two, so, two, this is a yes or no question. What is your answer? The colon, starting with the colon, denotes that you are, it's a prompt. So it, it'll look like this in game. Like, you've got three lines of text, it asks you a question, then it'll prompt you, like, yes, no. And you know, you've got an arrow, so you pick which one you want. So, this is what it'll actually say yes or no. If you click a yes, it goes to label one, which is answer one. If you click no, it goes to answer two. So let's say you click yes. Over here, your cursor, yes. So okay, yes leads to label answer one. So it goes to answer one. Your answer to this question was yes. And then the period after the uh, the screen like says, yeah, it's like the terminator at the end of the conversation. So you're done talking to the NPC. If you do it again, you start back at the beginning. You go to two. And then at two, let's say you choose no. So you go to answer two instead. You answered no to this question, and you terminate it with this. Yeah, that's pretty. And so now we have branching conversations. We need to work on. Uh... So what are we making conversations manually by now? Going in text files and. Oh yeah, who's Peter. gonna do that? Uh, do I need to make a script, or is he doing it in his editor? Oh, you guys. You don't over. need to make a script for now. You guys bitch about Not it. Too much crap to do. Dude, so. It's easier just to do a notepad. I'm not involved. Just make a script, son. Man, I'm not doing that notepad. Little script kitty. It's easier to do a notepad than for me to make a script and you do it with a command prompt. Command prompt? Who said that? Who said do it with command prompt? That's what it'll be if I make a script. Oh, I guess. Even the DOS prompt. Whatever. Son, get your terminology straight. Okay, so Falco is a dumbass. <laughs> That's a great way to start a conversation. And I'm just sitting here for like five minutes trying to figure out... Whoa, five whole minutes? Yes. That's like as long as the Lua lecture. I know. Anyways, his set object was XY object number, and his set tile <laughs> was tile number XY. Wait, what? And I'm sitting here wondering why it's saying I'm trying to set it to an invalid tile the entire time. And I'm wondering why it has the wrong Y. <laughs> well, you is dumb as hell. You is dumb as hell. How did you not know that? Okay, and you posted on the forums that it was XY tile. Oh, I did? Yes. Oh, shit. Well, at least you didn't make a set function at return value. Oh-ho! Oh, my bad.